So all you need is to have a set of cupping cup. Maybe it hurts when you're lifting your arm. It will help to break down any adhesion. Make sure it's on the muscle belly slowly. Hi, this is Cody Zen, and I'm a licensed acupuncturist at Body Option Clinic. And I'm also a founder of Body Option Clinic in Vancouver, BC. So today I'd like to share a quick video for you, how to use cupping to alleviate your chronic shoulder pain. If you have tried chiropractic, massage, Theragun, acupuncture, or maybe any rehab exercises and still fail to work. So uh, one of the things I'd like to address first, before you do this, maybe go see a medical profession just to rule out whether you have any tendon tear, fracture, or any ruptures, uh, because those things can have similar presentation of shoulder pain. And if you don't root them out, and this probably not for you, but if you have root them out and there's no, nothing structural damage, you might be just missing one of these modalities that you need to try. So the uh, first thing I'd like to talk about, uh, one of the concepts is for chronic pain, is adhesions. So adhesion is essentially scar tissue. Essentially, when you have chronic pain, and the pain causes inflammation, and inflammation causes scar tissue, and the scar tissue limits the blood flow. So if you understand that, chronic pain is very easy to explain. It's because of the lack of blood flow, but because of the adhesion or scar tissue that's blocking the blood flow to go to the muscle or tendon that needs to heal. So now how we can help to reduce the scar tissue and adhesions, uh, very simple. So all you need is to have a set of cupping cup. Uh, you can go on Amazon and buy a set of cupping cups and you can apply the same technique that I'm going to show you. So I'm going to use a different set of cups uh, that might look a little bit different than uh, the cupping cups that you use at home but so I'm gonna show you uh, one of the techniques that I'm gonna use so first thing is you apply the cupping cups onto the area that you feel pain let's say you have a front deltoid pain for example and maybe it hurts when you're lifting your arm maybe any overhead movement um, so you first thing you apply yeah. the cupping cups onto the skin and make sure it's on the muscle belly as well as the muscle insertion on the, on the anterior deltoid. So for most people is that they leave the cups on and they just wait for 5 to 10 minutes until the pain or the tension has gone away. But that's just the first step. So I'm going to show you the second step of it. So once you have already applied the cups on the shoulder or the area that you feel pain, I like you to do some active range of motion. So I like to do some flexion, just raising your arm to approximately 90 degrees, slowly, really feel the muscle fiber that being pulled and lengthening. And you can do the same to the lateral, to the lateral flexion or side raising. You're gonna do a few reps, so approximately eight to 10 reps, and then you can get higher and higher each rep. And the last one is internal rotation, is to reach the opposite side of the scapula or the shoulder blade. And you do this, okay. Gonna do a couple more times. Yeah. I can feel a lot of tension build up in my front of the deltoid. And last one. Okay. So, got some nice big bruise going on. And the most important thing is that the shoulder pain actually gone. Um, so what this one really do is that because the cupping creates suctions, so as you're moving or gliding the underneath structures, it will help to break down any adhesion or scar tissue between the skin and the muscles. So that helps to bring more blood to the area. So that will help to speed up the recovery and you get more range of motions. So give this one a try. And one more thing don't forget is to like and subscribe. 
and I'd like to see you next week.